Hello everyone, this is Megraj Madhukar Kasalkar. I am currently pursuing my Masters in International Energy Engineering in the OTA Chamber Gwaiden. And today I have the privilege of having a short discussion with my professor, Professor Frank Spede, who is also the director of this Masters program. So, Professor Frank Spede, uh, could you also give a brief introduction of yours? Yes, welcome everybody to this session here um, about our study program. Uh, my name was mentioned already and uh, I don't make it too long. Uh, just shortly, uh, I'm responsible here uh, in our faculty of uh, mechanical engineering and environmental engineering for energy efficient buildings and uh, renewable energies. And uh, besides that, uh, I'm heading this program. Um, so I'm involved very much in it uh, and, and I'm, I was the founder actually of this. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Professor Spetti. So, in this video, we'll be discussing about the renewable energy transition in Germany and why is it important and about our uh, International Energy Engineering Master's program and what are the prerequisites and what are the opportunities that uh, you will have when you come here in the OTH Amber Garden. So, let's dive right into the uh, discussion. So my first question to Professor is, uh, could you please uh, give a brief overview of the International Energy Engineering Master's program and uh, what kind of career opportunities can students expect after completing this master's program? Sir? Well, the, the driving force uh, for this program was uh, the, uh, the climate change. Um, and we have to reduce our uh, GHG uh, emissions worldwide. And uh, in Germany, maybe some of you know already, uh, we have already uh, introduced what we call Energiewende, the energy transformation from fossil energy based uh, energy system to a renewable based energy system with much less emissions. Yeah. And this is, a, um, can imagine, um, a, a large, huge challenge. Um, and we need a lot of engineers for that. And the program is created uh, to uh, educate engineers, young people, um, as, uh, as an energy transfer um, yep. uh, expert to bring this forward. And uh, that belongs to all, or that, that contains all the renewables, of course, like okay. solar, like uh, wind and hydropower, uh, but also energy management is a big thing for the future, energy storages, yep. um, and all this is in the program. Um, but you have a lot of possibilities to elect. Uh, we have a lot of elective modules, and so you can, uh, for your individual interest, uh, select whatever you want. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, thank you so much, sir. So my next question is, how well does the program prepare students for the challenges of the energy sector in the future? Yeah, that is um, what I explained already, our main goal, yeah, yeah to, to have uh, uh, experts um, after uh, you finish the program, yeah. yeah. Um, and what we do usually is um, we work, uh, we are a University of Applied Sciences, that means we work together always with the industry and with partners from the industry. Yeah. And uh, also here in this uh, study program, so uh, you can say 90% or more than 90% of the students, they gonna make their thesis at the end of the study program in the industry. So they, uh, uh, they mm, does not learn only uh, the, the content of uh, um, knowledge, uh, but also what happens in the industry in Germany. And um, some of them uh, already find a job then afterwards, um, and others make some applications. So we have lots of people um, um, finishing our program and working later in the industry. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much, sir. So, how is the program contributing to the research and innovation in the field of energy engineering? So, are there any ongoing research projects that the students can get involved into after they come in the OTA? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is, uh, uh, this is something that we are doing here at our university. Always, again, together with industry, um, we have an institute, Institute for Energy Technology, uh, where students uh, studying here in this program are already working um, in a student job um, and then doing project there and then doing maybe master thesis there. Um, we have other things like uh, uh, Technology Without Borders, it's called. It's a, it's a program um, that, uh, that is existing in many universities mm -hmm. in Germany um, with, uh, with project partners abroad yeah. in Africa, in Asia, uh, somewhere in the world. Um, so there are lots of possibility. And of course, when you have done the masters here, 
then you have the possibility uh, to continue with a PhD program, for example. Mm -hmm. Also possible here at yeah. our university. This is also one possibility for continuing the continuing education in innovation. In research, in, in direct research. research, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, sir. So my next question is, uh, what opportunities are there for students to work or study abroad during the program in uh, mm -hmm. International Energy Engineering, the OTH? Yeah, that is also possible. I mean, uh, when you come here, you are coming from abroad already, yeah? yeah? Exactly. Uh, so you are abroad. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, from here, um, as a, uh, as a uh, jumping board, uh, it's also possible. Uh, we have a lot of connections uh, to many um, uh, universities um, in the world, in Europe. Uh, in Europe, we have a wonderful program which is called Erasmus, uh, a yeah. mobility program for students, uh, where you get funded. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, there is also that is also possible, as I know, uh, for students uh, yeah. who come from abroad, mm -hmm. studying here at our university, to uh, uh, be a member of this program and uh, do some studies everywhere. And what we had already, a uh, master thesis with other universities um, in the okay. Netherlands, for example, yeah. or in other countries. Uh, this okay. was done already. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, our, our international office uh, is, uh, the point of is, is a point of contact and uh, uh, they have good knowledge about every okay. of those programs. Yeah. 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 Thank you, sir. <laughs> what are the prerequisites for successfully completing the program? Are there any specific softwares or other knowledge that the students must know before coming here mm -hmm. and successfully completing this program? Yeah, I mean, um, the, the uh, prerequisites, the requirements uh, you can find on our website of the program, of course. Um, basically, it's a, a bachelor's program, yeah. so you have to have a bachelor. Uh, in a technical field, of course, um, then you have to have a knowledge. Uh, the program is uh, teached in English. Mm -hmm. So you have to have at least B2 level in English. Um, that yeah. is, uh, and German language is uh, not necessary in the beginning. It is a requirement, but uh, you have time until the end of the second semester mm -hmm. uh, for yeah. an A2 level in German, which is then necessary. Um, yeah. Otherwise, you cannot continue. Yeah. So that are the basic uh, requirements uh, for our program. Yeah. Um, then, uh, of course, motivation. Motivation is so most important. So yeah. if you are good motivated uh, like you, <laughs> then uh, it is uh, no problem uh, to study a software, special software knowledge is not uh, necessary. Um, mm -hmm. You learn software programs here to manage. Um, yeah. Otherwise, of course, it's always good to know Microsoft Office uh, like Excel, okay. uh, yeah. PowerPoint and things like this. Yeah. Okay. But this is normal. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. What financial support does the university offers to its students who come here? Mm, well, we don't offer directly financial support, um, but we know the sources <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where you can get it. And uh, we help the students to uh, apply for that. Yeah, to, uh, uh, for example, Deutschland Stipendium. Yeah, yeah. You, have, you have been successful uh, to get a Deutschland Stipendium that is uh, 300 euros per month, I yeah. think, per, yeah. uh, for one semester. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm, so Deutschland Stipendium means Germany uh, uh, subsidy. Yeah. Uh, so uh, also foreign students can get that, not only Germans. Yeah. Um, and then we have different other uh, programs, uh, various um, possibilities. Yeah. Um, but it's not uh, safe that you can get it. We cannot promise. Yeah? Uh, yeah. You can apply for and lots of students, um, they, they were successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, of course, you have to, to pay a little uh, for your study program here. Um, like some fees for um, for the, the uh, for the for the student service uh, exactly and uh, um, quite new um, 500 euros per semester yeah, as a is, as a little fee um, mm -hmm. for support of the students that we give as a university yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that we need resources for that yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah so uh, in fact this university is already a public university so as such there are no tuition fees so students who come here in fact. Every student who is studying here has already no tuition fees. That's uh, right. Apart from that, you have the opportunity for different scholarship, as Professor Spete already told, Deutschland Stipendium. Then you have International Excellence Scholarship. This is also one. This is also pos possibility. Yes. Yeah. Then also uh, we also have uh, Oscar Karl uh, Foster, Stip uh, Stipendium, Foster Stipendium. Yes. Mm -hmm. For hardware, for example, for new computer or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is yeah. Uh, this is also one thing. And apart from this, uh, Hamburg and Weiden are two cities which are uh, quite affordable to live and mm. students can easily handle their own expenses. 
and the quality of life is also very high <laughs> this is uh, also uh, throughout the germany is the quality yeah. of life yeah. is really high yeah well i i tell uh, always uh, the students also the german students um, you know munich everybody knows munich yes. uh, technical university of munich uh, there are thousands uh, and thousands of students yeah. um, and uh, well it is a very good university i don't say something against that university mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. munich you you pay uh, for uh, accommodation and living costs. Uh, maybe half of uh, of the price that you pay in Munich for that uh, here in Amberg yeah. and uh, <laughs> and we have uh, small groups yeah? in 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 Munich you have large groups yeah, uh, and groups. and uh, that is difficult you don't know the professor there here we know each other the students know the professor the professor knows the students so yeah, uh, the relationship is much closer and uh, yeah <laughs> and yeah. the support yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. thank you so much sir this was one of the important question that many people were already asking me mm -hmm. and i hope it is now clear mm -hmm. from the director of the master's program yeah. itself <laughs> so my last question sir in a summary how can students make most of the time in hamburg and germany in odhs yeah, um, this is a question is difficult to answer for me. Um, I, I give it back to you. Uh, you are you are studying here in a higher semester already. Uh, yeah. You have experience of the first semester. You can answer that perfectly. Okay. <laughs> so I think a student should actively engage in different opportunities that they get here. For mm -hmm. example, uh, industry projects, the research initiatives that uh, Professor Spete has already told EFA. And there are also different excursions going into different industry. So students can uh, make contact to different uh, industry professionals after this excursions. Excursions are also a big opportunity. Second thing is uh, building a strong network with professors, peers and industry experts would already be very helpful in the long term to get a good job, to get a work student uh, activity and uh, to develop your career in the energy engineering sector. And the third thing sir, I would uh, say, having a good control on German language is itself a very big uh, thing that students can consider to be successful not just in the master's program but also in Germany after their master's program. So, and the last thing I would also want to add up is the willingness to achieve something and to make efforts while you study, while you be here in OTH Hamburg Gardens. This is the most important thing because you have decided to come here to study and develop yourself in energy engineering sector. Then it is your responsibility to uh, contact your professor, contact your peers, have control on your good control in German language and then success will uh, surely come before you. So thank you so much, sir, for uh, uh, sharing this insights of the OTH Hamburg Widen and mm -hmm. our master's program, International Energy Engineering. I hope with this video, it would be clearer for uh, the people who will be watching this video mm -hmm. about how this master's program is and what are the different uh, prerequisites and opportunities that are present <coughs> in the OTH Hamburg Widen. So thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, yeah, yeah. Sir. I'm looking forward for you to come here and uh, we are uh, happy when you come. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Professor.